today I'm going to attempt to make some bacon blondie bars and I'm hoping that these will be delicious of course you really can't go wrong with bacon so I have a good feeling about this one and I think it's going to be easy and hopefully um, really good so what I think it's going to need is one roll of the Pillsbury sugar cookie dough this is a one pound uh, roll of that it's going to take some vanilla, three eggs, um, five tablespoons of butter melted, and one pound of bacon, which I will, of course, crisp up and then crumble, uh, some light corn syrup, and some sugar. And that will go into an eight-inch square little Pyrex dish there that I have sprayed and lined. So when we get back, um, we will move forward with the steps and see how this all goes. So I will see you here in just a minute. Hey there, okay, so I have the bacon crisping up in the microwave right now. So I've taken that opportunity to mix together in this bowl the corn syrup, melted butter, sugar, vanilla, and eggs. And it just turned into this smooth, almost kind of thick filling that we are going to use to pour over the bacon when it's done. So in the oven right now, I am cooking up that sugar cookie crust and we're just waiting for it to come together. So be back here real soon. This is looking so amazing already. I'm so excited. Um, the sugar cookie crust was in the oven about 25 minutes. It isn't fully um, done cooking yet, but it's gonna have a little bit more time in the oven once we pour over the um, filling topping. So what I've done is just sprinkled the entire top of the sugar cookie crust with that pound of crispy and crumbled bacon. And it looks so good like this right now. You could just eat it like this if you want to. But I'm going to go ahead and pour over that topping mixture. And I think this is what is going to give it that custardy, delicious, chewy kind of bar that I'm looking for. And now it's going to go back into the oven, oh, probably another 30 minutes or so until it sets up. And when it's done, we will come back and give it a try. So keep your fingers crossed. We'll see you back here. Alrighty, well, here they are. They were back in the oven for a good 45 to 50 minutes at 350. I just peeled back the parchment paper and it's still a little bit too warm for me to cut into. I don't want to ruin them with my impatience. But I think these are going to be so delicious. You can see that the bacon got so gooey and yummy looking. They, it just looks so good and smells so delicious. So here they are, bacon blondies. Super simple and I can almost promise you delicious. I have not tried them yet, but you can see what I think about them over on the blog with the exact recipe and final photos. So I hope you give it a try and let me know if you do and we will see you next time. Bye.